Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple bicycle, kid bicycle in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you like it. So let's see how to do this bicycle. And we will make little animation at the end. So let's start. Now here let's make our first part of bicycle steering. We will we make a steering handle. So let's start. Top plane is sketch. And here choose, uh, let us first define a center line. Now then choose play a uh, line. Connect it, exit. Now here let's create some relations. Select both the end of line and this mid line. Symmetric relation. The same what we need to do it here. Symmetric relation. Let's select these two points and center line. Symmetric relation. That's it. Now let's define it. Seventy millimeter, forty millimeter, seventeen point six millimeter, forty five millimeter, and let's make the distance from origin point thirty five millimeter. Choose here fillet six millimeter and select these two ends. Okay, now again change it 26 millimeter. Select these two corners. Okay, I think uh, we just undo one process. Okay. Keep only 26 millimeter. Okay. Now the last one is 8 millimeter. Okay. Now select extruded boss. 20 millimeter and let's keep mid plane and condition. Uh, let's define some color to this body. Select only extruded boss and let's choose some orange color. Now select here this body sketch. Select line. Convert it into arc. Actually we want to make a half circle here. It's not going to exit. We don't want to make half actually. Center point arc. Now I start from here. Connect this point to. Okay. Exit. Now here select these two points. Go inside. That's it. Now let's define this point. Four point seventy five millimeter and keep radius twelve point five millimeter eleven point one millimeter. Okay. Now here choose offset. Keep four millimeter and select this line. Okay. Choose here line and connect it. exit now this portion we want to keep another all we need to extrude cut select extrude cut here select flip side to cut that means the both side will going to cut through all okay that's it okay 
Now let's start to make the handle rod. Select back side, sketch normal. Draw a circle and let's keep the diameter 20 millimeter. And the distance from outer edge. Fifteen point eighty two millimeter and select the circle center and origin horizontal. Now let's extrude it. And extrude up to two hundred twenty five millimeter and uh, this one this rod we will assign okay letter we will assign now choose here right plane plane and create one plane 20 millimeter just center to, to this circle okay now edit this uh, rod sketch normal delete this relation and make 20 millimeter exit that's it now the plane in in the main mid mid portion now let's do one thing select this plane sketch normal now here we will extend this handle furthermore choose line let's draw one center line make sure it's center line delete this coincident relation make little up choose here line convert it into arc and take it down exit now let's define this two hundred thirty millimeter 30 millimeter sixty eight millimeter the radius and let's make the gap fifty seven point five millimeter exit now hide this plane now here choose front plane a sketch circle and let's draw a circle with this point keep diameter 30 millimeter exit now go to feature and select swift boss base select this profile now you can see it here okay now let's choose front plane mirror and select this body this extruded body and just mirror it that's it now select this face sketch circle center point and draw a circle with 30 millimeter dia and extrude it 150 millimeter but reverse direction okay that's it let's try to create one plane front plane plane and make it 50 millimeter 
okay now select this front plane to sketch take the position and here we will make our geometry so first like make a center line vertical and just drag it star point and put in center point select star point and this line make sure coincide okay now let's select here line and start our geometry and select up to here and this line and connect with this exit okay up to here hide this plane now let's try vertical line eleven millimeter exit star point and put this star here at the center or do one thing delete this line we need to again put one star here that's it line now let's define this gap 11 millimeter uh, we are missing with this line so just delete this again and uh, draw a center line from top here we will get the midpoint okay exit that's it now let's move 11 millimeter okay make collinear relation Ten by ten millimeter, and here also keep ten millimeter. Select circle, trim entity, trim to closest. Okay. Thirty-eight millimeter. 25 millimeter okay now 
let's define some angle 115 degree three millimeter okay A star point put in center now define this distance from star point to bottom line thirty eight point seventy five oh it's uh, missing actually let's try to create one that's it midline that's it now fix distance from here to bottom line thirty eight point seventy five millimeter that's it radius keep 10 millimeter now overall distance check 90 millimeter only fill it 30 millimeter now let's choose 4 millimeter and select these corners. Okay, okay. Now select here fully defined sketch calculate. It's showing some error. But this is what we need actually. We don't need anything more. So just select extruded boss. 4 millimeter. You can see it's outside unmerged result okay now just change the color to orange front plane and just mirror this okay select body mirror that's it see it's mirror Now here let's try some, uh, we want to make some handle here, so choose front plane, a sketch and here select circle, draw a circle and let's make diameter 25 millimeter, okay. Now select this circle and this circle and make relation here, concentric, okay. Now see now exit now let's create a plane because we want to use this as a or directly choose now let's create the uh, actually we want to create some handle here choose here line select this center point press tab key okay this direction exit now let's define this 67 millimeter okay choose a star point and put somewhere here exit now let's select this face and take the normal position okay now this is the our star point I hope you are easily now select center point and this press tab key and let's define the distance 29 millimeter 29.5 millimeter now again select this point and this point press tab key again tab key and define vertical distance 107.8 millimeter that's it now just uh, take little position and define the distance from here to this point 125 millimeter okay choose line and connect this point to this point exit that's it now again choose the star point and put somewhere above exit select this point face sketch this star point drag it here somewhere
टाइप की एंड डिफाइंड गैप 103.5 मिलीमीटर देन अगेन टैब एंड डिफाइन वर्टिकल वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस 172 मिलीमीटर लेट्स रोटेट इट नाउ डिफाइन द डिस्टेंस एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट स्टार पॉइंट टू सेकेंड स्टार पॉइंट 156.6 मिलीमीटर ओके चूज लाइन एंड कनेक्ट इट फ्रॉम दिस स्टार पॉइंट एग्जिट नाउ सी दिस इज अवर ज्योमेट्री इज फुल्ली डिफाइंड सो चूज फील इट सेवेंटी टू मिलीमीटर सेलेक्ट दिस टू कॉर्नर्स प्रेस ओके और सेलेक्ट दिस टू लाइन्स ओके एग्जिट नाउ एग्जिट फ्रॉम दी स्केच नाउ गो टू फीचर एंड सेलेक्ट हियर स्विप टू बॉस बेस सी प्रोफाइल सेलेक्टेड पाथ सेलेक्टेड जस्ट सेलेक्ट प्रोफाइल सी ओके नाउ हियर वी लेट्स असाइन सम मेटल कलर वन टू थ्री okay this body is we go to appearance steel and uh, polished stainless steel check it again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and the last one chrome chrome plating that's it it looks real steel now choose front plane mirror select this body okay now see it's mirror again choose front plane sketch normal now here we want to connect Nineteen millimeter, sixty-three millimeter, twenty-five millimeter. Okay. Now simply exit. Now choose here three D sketch spline, and select this point. Two, three, and center point of this circle, exit. Take okay. Do one thing. Just delete it. Select. spline directly connect from this point to if you will go here you will find center point connect it exit now just drag it that's it that's fine it looks better exit swift to boss base you can see the preview okay now just try to choose front plane mirror and select this body mirror that's it uh, it's uh, not look perfect so go to 3d sketch select this circle and this spline take little upward 
or select this arrow along x axis I think delete all y axis also we don't need try z axis ok the z axis is perfect exit now see it looks perfect shape select these two bodies chrome plate that's it now here we will make rubber gloves or for uh, handle select this face sketch circle and make circle thirty one point seven millimeter and extrude extrude up to one hundred twenty three millimeter reverse direction okay select the back surface a sketch circle and here draw a bigger circle 61.5 millimeter sixty millimeter extrude four millimeter reverse direction okay sketch circle let's create this one 40 millimeter extrude 4 millimeter reverse direction okay now select last three extruded bodies and define some metal color or uh, rubber matte rubber back side also front plane mirror and select these three bodies extruded part one two three okay now that's it fill it edit clear and select last three extruded boss five six seven now that's fine choose here fillet select this face this face this face okay again choose fillet keep ten millimeter select the inside of rubber okay now choose both the fillets and define rubber mat that's it now select this face or uh, we want to actually extrude this one little more a sketch convert entity now this is converted select this face convert entities now select extruded boss <coughs> and select up to vertex let's choose now 
we need to find a center point of any circle okay let's make a blind 4.75 millimeter okay now again choose the same face is sketch convert entity this face also actually cancel it we don't want to convert it actually front plane a sketch normal select here circle and this is the midpoint circle choose here line up to end point exit make it vertical 15 mm trim entity and trim this half circle okay extruded boss now this faces we want to extrude mid plane forty okay edit and unmerge result so we will fill two body and uh, let's keep fillet Six millimeter, okay. Now select this face sketch, convert entity. Now select this face also, convert entity. Now this face is converted extruded cut select this two faces that's it this is enough 40 millimeter okay that's it now select this body and define a color orange same color we will put it okay now that's it now select this face a sketch choose here polygon just find out the center point and draw one polygon and let's keep the distance 40 millimeter and extrude 5 millimeter make it reverse okay again select the back surface sketch circle and uh, find out the center point and draw a circle with 44 millimeter dia make little bigger that it should cover this 50 millimeter extrude 5 millimeter okay 
that's it fill it 2 mm select this face and this actually we need to select only one face okay so now bottom all the body should be chrome plate now here we want to fix one bolt the sketch circle Twenty three millimeter. Okay. Select here extruded cut. sketch convert entity now this whole line is converted A sketch exit now delete rest of all fill it 6 mm okay no need here fill it offset reverse undo reverse okay Two millimeter. We don't want to cut this one, so just edit. And here, select this face we want to cut. Okay, that's it. Now here we will fix one bolt. A sketch. Seventeen millimeter and extrude. Five millimeter. Fill it. Point five. steel satin finish stainless steel so this is the our handle our bicycle handle so let's save this desktop create one folder bicycle make it part 1 
stadium. Let's now here let's make our next part bicycle frame. So let's start choose front plane sketch. Select here spline. Exit. Three hundred ninety millimeter and keep this length three hundred ninety four point forty five millimeter. Let's check the vertical length. This one delete this then one hundred eighty eight point three and let's choose make little curve surface that's okay fine now exit now we want to create two number of planes so select here plane first select this curve and select this point it should be tangent to this point ok now select plane select this clear select this spline and select the end point here also we need to create a plane ok now here we created two planes so let's sketch in first plane this is our first plane now choose here is ellipse now let's define it keep the overall length 65 millimeter and width 35 millimeter exit now select the plane 2 sketch now here this is our plane 2 again choose this spline now let's define it now this time keep the length a little small 55 millimeter and width uh, make it same 35 millimeter exit Now hide both the planes. Now let's choose try here lifted boss base. Select this circle and select this this circle. Now go to center line parameter and select this second line. Now see it become the center of this body. Select here. Okay. See. Now select front plane sketch normal. Choose here line and select the center point. OK. Draw a collinear line for construction geometry and let's make 45 mm millimeter long exit. Now here we want to create a plane. So plane select this line and this point we want to create a circle plane on this point ok now choose this is plane 3 sketch circle and let's draw a circle here thirty five millimeter see 
ओके एंड लेट एक्सट्रूड इट नाइन्टी मिलीमीटर रिवर्स डायरेक्शन सी ओके नाउ हाइड इट नाउ अगेन चूज फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच नॉर्मल सर्कल एंड मेक वन सर्कल हियर फिफ्टी फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड एक्सट्रूड दिस सर्कल सेवेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर सी हियर एंड कंडीशन कीप मिड प्लेन दैट्स इट Now again choose front plane is sketch normal. Now here we will create a geometry which help us to draw our many planes. Center line. Exit. Now let's define this. Three hundred. Three hundred, two hundred seventy millimeter, and this distance forty millimeter. That's it. Exit. Now here we will extend the frame. So let's make further geometry. Uh, let create one plane first. Right plane, plane. 10 mm only not more than okay now select this no plane number 4 sketch circle and here draw a circle fifteen mm and diameter 20 mm okay Select both the points horizontal. Okay, now exit. Uh, sketch. Okay, sketch is visible. Now choose here. Three D sketch. Line. Select the center point of circle. Go ahead. Exit. Now put a star point, two star here. Exit. Exit. Now make one relation parallel. Okay. Make the length. Two hundred seven point forty five. Now just drag it. Let's define the gap. Sixty millimeter. Now the distance from here to this point seven point five millimeter. Okay. Now distance from here. Press Tab key. Okay. One hundred twenty-five millimeter. That's it. This one make minus seven point five. Or delete this one. We 
we want to take in upward direction that's it now try press tab key then tab key and this is distance 7.5 okay choose here line and connect these two points exit fillet 15 millimeter select this corner okay hundred and thirty millimeters it's too big I think let's try hundred millimeter it's also too big thirty millimeter okay uh, let's check the angle if possible we can put some angle here 140 degree okay that's fine now select this line normal view line draw a line here in the same plane we did the line and connect with this point exit now let's define this two hundred thirty millimeter okay fill it make hundred millimeter and select these two lines okay fill it keep 20 millimeter and select these two lines okay now that's perfectly de defined I hope you note down all the dimension 3d uh, sketch is little difficult but I hope you got the point now simply exit go to feature swift to boss base select the circle and uh, sketch select ok now this is the our profile if you want to mirror it just select front plane mirror and select this body okay see height height now let's define some material go to aluminium anodized blue make it red okay now let's choose here plane select this line and this point and create the perpendicular plane to this line okay now let's choose this plane number five sketch circle and here draw a circle and let's keep the diameter 30 millimeter see here select extruded boss and choose here up to vertex and select this point ok select fillet 5 millimeter select this end okay again choose fillet and select this end also maybe it need more we 
we reduced it so I hope the less diameter will be fixed here that is also not going to fix let's try one millimeter and if it not fix then we will see later on okay it's not going to fix okay we will see later this hide front plane is sketch normal choose this spline select this escape we created f uh, before one this geometry this one keep show ok now try a spline draw a spline from here to here exit this is just a support nothing else you can fix in any way if you want to extend then let extend it ok exit that's it now choose this line and create a plane select this spline and this point see ok now select this plane number 6 a sketch circle let's make the diameter 30 millimeter ok exit and try here swift boss base command you can see like this ok hide even you can hide this also so this is the frame support that's it now choose here fillet keep 3 millimeter select this end and this end you can see here okay now select this face A sketch select here offset keep 1.5 reverse see ok now select extruded cut sorry extruded cut and keep through all ok now that's it now the same way we have to do from this top face A sketch offset 1.5 inside reverse ok go to feature and select extruded cut and here choose up to surface and let's choose the surface select this inside surface ok now see the hole is exactly up to the surface now let's try this one the last one A sketch offset 1.5 millimeter inside ok go to feature select extruded cut and here keep end condition through all ok that's it now select this face A sketch <coughs> draw a circle forty millimeter ok now select the inside circle convert entities now extrude this face only up to five millimeter ok let's keep merge Uh, 
uh, we need to change the color so we will do it one thing we will unmerge the result okay that's it now let's uh, we can utilize the same sketch let's try extrude offset 90 millimeter reverse now see this also reverse 7 millimeter unmerge okay that's it so let's select last two bodies and uh, define some chrome brushed finish chrome okay fillet 3 millimeter select upper one lower one okay select both the fillet brushed so now this is the our bicycle frame is ready uh, one thing is balance here uh, fixing hook so let's create one plane select here front plane plane forty six mm see we are uh, creating a plane just 46 um, uh, away the front plane that's it now let's choose this plane number 7 a sketch take the position normal choose line and connect it exit oh, that's it select this line make relation horizontal select these two lines make relation collinear ten millimeter ten millimeter choose fillet four millimeter and select all these corners okay now eighteen point nine millimeter choose here circle trim entities power trim and yes and delete this inside half circle now let's select the bottom line and this line and keep the gap 0.84 millimeter okay choose fillet keep 5 millimeter select this corner and upper corner okay let's define this length forty six point thirty five millimeter it's up to you um, whatever dimension you can keep it eighty millimeter and I'll keep the distance 
13.5 millimeter from this edge seventy five millimeter okay now almost all the let's define this also five millimeter it's by default okay so our geometry is fully defined so select extruded boss three millimeter merge it okay comes down make it 5 mm and direction to make 3 mm okay that's it now let's try to mirror front plane mirror and select this body okay select here body that's it hide the plane and hide this sketch so now this is the our frame bicycle frame a child bicycle frame actually let's save this part number two frame let's see what other parts are there now go to evaluate measure and select these two distance it is it should be 90 millimeter actually so cancel it and uh, extruded boss and this direction make only one millimeter okay now let's try again 90 millimeter that's perfect let's save now here let's start the next part bicycle tire so choose here right plane sketch center line draw vertical and horizontal center line let's define it one forty five point two five and define this one twenty five millimeter now let's choose here center point arc okay keep diameter 22.5 millimeter okay three point arc radius one millimeter okay choose spline and we need to make one spline exit mirror this two against this vertical line okay again choose fillet spline
okay do one thing this make this spline little down and this one like tangent relation point seventy five millimeter that's perfect now this is the what shape we required for our tire so that's enough for us no need to make any other dimension revolve boss base this has a axis of revolution okay now select this top face choose here rubber that's it chrome and select brush finish chrome and this one we will assign some dark color so it will be easily identify okay that's it <coughs> front plane a sketch normal circle and draw here two circles Ten millimeter inside one seventeen point six millimeter and here extruded thirty eight point five direction two also thirty eight point five okay this body okay now select the back surface a sketch normal now here we will make one uh, bicycle sprocket so select circle first select here for construction purpose twenty nine point zero nine millimeter circle okay this one make twenty nine two times actually 29.09 into 2 that's it and this one 10 millimeter choose power trim and trim this okay and select this circle make it real circle not construction circular pattern this is the center point and select this one we need 14 number of equal spaces okay trim entities power trim now this is your shape of a sprocket ok now extrude it
make four millimeter cancel it circle and uh, make this circle also now extrude it four millimeter okay select this body and uh, brushed chrome now select this face sketch circle Twenty three millimeter Okay. Now select this circle and convert entity C. Now here extrude four millimeter. Okay. Now select this face sketch circle. 20 millimeter okay select this inside circle convert entities now extrude now see this going to extrude up to 4 millimeter let's try to mirror front mirror select these two parts okay that's it fill it 2 millimeter okay now let's try this one dark color okay Now select top plane, sketch, corner rectangle, draw a center line. Now choose corner rectangle. Twenty millimeter, three millimeter. Okay. Now select these two lines, make collinear relation. Okay. And uh, select this inside line. delete this coincident relation already line is there That's it. Five millimeter.
draw a horizontal center line just mirror this all the lines against this line okay choose here revolve boss base this line as a axis okay select all the body delete this relation actually we want to extrude oh sorry we want to revolve boss base okay now select this body and make it dark color okay fill it 4 mm select this face okay 1 mm select this face and this face select both the fillets and assign dark color that's it select this face a sketch circle draw two circle one 10 mm and other 14 mm and extrude it up to 2 mm and merge okay make this also dark color select this face sketch inside circle convert entity circle fourteen millimeter dia and extrude up to six millimeter and merge result okay now let's define this dark color okay now here let's create the uh, bicycle uh, tire spokes select this face 3d sketch select here star point and put our star here in the mid of this line and uh, we will put one star just uh, little okay now choose your line now select your star press tab it is asking upward here okay comes to this direction then connect with your star point but you have created here exit now let's see the gap let increase this gap eight millimeter okay choose fillet make it uh, 3 okay that's it line press tab increase this direction exit now let's
थ्री मिलीमीटर ओके दैट्स इट एग्जिट नाउ हियर लेट्स चूज वन प्लेन लेट्स डिफाइन प्लेन ऑन दिस सेलेक्ट दिस लाइन choose here plane and select this point see we are going to create a perpendicular plane to this line okay now select this plane sketch circle now let's draw a circle here keep 3 mm okay now exit and go to feature and select sweep boss base circle is selected just select the path okay select this face sketch circle make 5 mm extrude here choose up to next okay uncheck and merge uh, okay let it merge with this body that's it now again choose the same is plain one is sketch here choose polygon draw a hexagon and let's keep this size two millimeter okay and extrude reverse direction make it 6 mm and merge okay now let's define some color select this part or come down and select sweep to boss base last three extruded part with dark color hide this plane now let's make multiple number of patterns here select this two parts and select the third one we need any circular select this as a circle oh sorry we selected linear pattern supposed to be circular pattern this one just cross check from here all the bottom three faces selected just select here circular pattern make 14 14 numbers 15 actually for 15 i think very less space so keep 14 okay a geometry pattern okay that's it choose fillet 0.5 come down and let's make bigger 2 mm okay that's it now this is the bike spokes
now here let's create these spokes in other sides so go to other direction select this face 3d sketch a star point and here we will fix one star point try to fix in the center of both the spokes exit now let's choose this point star okay now let's start select line select this point press tab key this direction and drag your geometry and connect with this point exit now just try to adjust your point if you feel something Eight millimeter, okay. Choose fillet. Three millimeter, okay. Again, choose line and select extend this line. Three millimeter, okay. Now this is the path for X spokes. now exit choose your plane select this line and end point ok now we created one perpendicular plane to this select this plane a sketch circle now let's draw a circle in this end point and keep the diameter 3 millimeter exit and go to feature and select swift boss base see here profile selected select the path once you select the path you will see the preview ok now select this face sketch circle make 5 millimeter extrude up to next reverse ok that's it fillet 2 millimeter ok now again choose the plane to a sketch and here choose a polygon and select this length 2 millimeter ok and extrude it reverse direction 6 millimeter ok now let's define the color select last 3 bodies dark color select this one also ok now see now it's time to make multiple number of parts so choose here circular pattern uh, which one this is the our part first this one and uh, second one and third one there are four parts sorry one two three four choose circular pattern 14 number of this is the face we selected so, so any circular face you can select it and create it now 14 numbers equal spacing ok
uncheck the pattern geometry sometime it required sometime not hide now see so this is the our wheel is all almost ready the spokes are ready now we will give some threading threads to this tire now select this face sketch circle keep diameter 40 mm okay select bigger one more circle and make bigger one and extrude cut make depth 1 mm only okay fill it 10 mm and select this face okay that's it sketch this side and uh, select previous sketch and convert entities that's it extruded cut make depth 1 mm that's it fill it 10 mm okay this fillet also make 10 mm okay now let's uh, make one plane right plane choose here plane 180 mm mm above the plane okay right plane select this plane number 3 sketch circle center point now let's make exit again choose here exit let's define this 9 mm 4.5 mm choose is plane connected to this point again choose is plane connected to this point exit now again choose the line exit exit now let's define this 9 mm 4.5 mm spline exit seven point five millimeter seven point five millimeter okay now just drag it and curve make it curve try to make the similar curve select extruded boss okay 
ओके हाइड दी प्लेन फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच नॉर्मल नो सॉरी वी वी नीड लेस ओके मेक टॉप प्लेन स्केच एंड टेक दिस पोजिशन नाउ हियर वी नीड टू कट इट this one here uh, exit we need to extend this one so come down and choose here direction 2 direction 2 let's make 5 mm okay it's covered okay that's it now try top plane sketch Choose here line. Convert it into arc. Exit. Choose here also line. Select here three point arc. Okay, this geometry is perfect for us. Revolve the cut. center line now choose revolve cut see here you can see the preview okay fillet one millimeter okay now let's make multiple number of pattern circular pattern select this extruded body also comes down this extruded part also here are three parts let's choose the circular face make it 30 numbers still there is a gap Forty numbers. Okay. It will may take time because uh, it's uh, there is too much calculations. that's it now select all the last four patterns make it rubber mat rubber okay so this is the our tire Let's save this tire.
let's see other parts now this is what we created a rear tire now the we will make the front tire with the help of this tire so do one thing select this face a sketch circle up to this and again up to bigger select extruded cut we extrude it up to 4 mm so cut only that's it now this one save as Uh, we will give a, give it part number nine front tire save now here let's make the part number three sprocket with paddle link so let's start choose front plane a sketch. and draw here a 25 mm diameter circle and extrude it 85 mm keep end condition mid plane okay now let's uh, define material actually okay that's it will be visible for you satin finish chrome now we, we want to extrude it so top plane is sketch normal choose here line exit now select the origin point and this line and make relation midpoint okay now let's define 135 mm 135 mm and the center gap make 150 mm okay fillet keep 15 mm select both the corners yes okay now simply exit from the sketch now select this face sketch convert entity now this is converted into circle exit now here we want to convert so uh, make a circle so do one thing we need to create a plane select this line and this point automatically we will be get a plane in per perpendicular plane here okay sketch to this plane make a circle 18 mm di diameter exit now let's try go to feature lifted boss base select this circle right click selection manager select this open okay that's it show hide this plane now create one plane here also this plane and this point okay now select this plane to sketch circle and let's draw a circle here uh, keep the same diameter 18 mm exit now select this face sketch convert entity now circle created exit now let's apply lifted boss base command here this circle and this circle sketch parameter selection manager here select open loop select this one okay 
okay now that's it now hide this one you can hide this also top plane a sketch normal choose rectangle 4 mm thirty eight point five millimeter. Now select extruded cut. Mid plane. See here. Okay. Select all body. Okay. Now now here we will fix our sprocket. So front plane is sketch normal circle. Let's make a circle here. 10 millimeter di diameter 10 millimeter and comes to this end circle ten by ten millimeter. Okay. Now let's create a relation horizontal. Okay. The second circle horizontal extruded cut mid plane 300 millimeter ok now see top plane is sketch corner rectangle Twenty millimeter seven millimeter corner rectangle Seven millimeter, twenty millimeter. Select extruded cut, mid plane. Okay. We want to extrude cut. mid plane ok that's it now select this inside face sketch normal now here we will make our sprocket circle one hundred fifty one millimeter circle and draw here circle ten millimeter fillet uh, trim undo again choose trim this one cut it circular pattern here choose this one equal spacing 38 number of patterns ok trim entity now we have to this is a big task power use power trim to cut all just press and drag press and drag to the line and it will automatically delete this is a very quick tool
only few more balance the last one okay that's fine okay extruded boss 4 milli only because this gap is uh, up to 4 milli only okay now select this face sketch circle now draw here two circles Okay, 126, 83, okay, center line, choose here line, vertical line, again draw one line here, exit. Make the gap 5 millimeter. Degree keep 60 millimeter. Okay. Now choose here power trim. Okay. draw a line and let's draw this line 60 millimeter exit now select parallel uh, delete it this already parallel so no need to make parallel if possible you can define choose fully defined sketch ok fill it five millimeter ok now choose circular pattern this is the circular point and select all the geometry one by one we need six number of parts pattern okay see here extruded cut up to next okay see here we cut only up to the next a sketch circle one hundred thirty millimeter draw one bigger circle and extrude cut and make the depth only one millimeter okay see the same thing we have to do opposite direction a sketch circle draw two circles one is bigger and one is smaller 130 millimeter bigger one anything 180 or anything like extrude cut make the depth one millimeter that's it fill it let's choose inside pattern is okay so 
so this is the kind of paddle let's save it so is rocket with paddle link now here we will make the seat bicycle seat here top plane sketch first we will make a one simple geometry so let's choose center rectangle choose here for construction Two hundred thirty by one hundred seventy. Draw a center line. Exit. Choose here a spline. exit select this part this one make it little here adjust it according to your requirement mirror okay that's it star point and make some star here okay now exit now choose front plane sketch normal a spline exit okay choose again is spline connect exit now this one make it little less exit top plane plane this one keep Forty five degree better and second reference plane, let's say this one and uh, change angle ninety. We need to change ninety, ninety, one eighty, then plus forty five degree, that means two twenty five. This also too much, so Two hundred one ninety. Okay. Now select this plane. Thirty 
थ्री डी स्केच स्प्लाइन एंड कनेक्ट विद दिस पॉइंट एग्जिट सी वी क्रिएटेड इन दिस राइट क्लिक इंसर्ट स्प्लाइन पॉइंट हियर हियर एंड हियर ओके नो दिस वन यू कैन ड्रैग इट अप ओके This is rough geometry, not any accurate geometry. It's up to you how you can make it exit. Hide the plane. Okay. Now it's time to create multiple number of planes. Right plane. Plane. Now first plane. Let's create here. Okay. again choose right plane plane second point right plane plane third point right plane plane after that this is the fourth one now after that uh, here you will find one more plane choose right plane okay first select right plane plane this one okay again choose the right plane plane and this one the last one choose right plane right plane okay so in every point we created one plane let's see our sketch one edit A star point and put one star point here exit now again choose your right plane plane okay so we here we created i think 8 9 10 numbers of plane now so let's start with i'll select the all planes hide 10 numbers plane choose show edit sketch normal line here so for this this number of planes converted exit draw vertical line connected okay peers 
that's it now here also select this point and this peers I think not possible hide the plane peers okay exit now let's try to find plane number 10 then choose plane number 2 sketch line draw a vertical line exit again choose line and draw a horizontal line convert it into arc exit now let's select okay select this point and this arc pairs that's it this one actually you deleted three point arc okay this already pierced here so exit now choose plane number three sketch line this is the plane number three exit this point exit three point arc exit now select this point and this line peers if radius too much then just uh, make it little uh, small plane number four uh, let exit A sketch make sure the your line is vertical then rotate your geometry and draw a hor horizontal line just okay see uh, it should be parallel to this uh, arrow three point arc okay now choose Pierce, delete, extend up to oh, we are selecting wrong line. This point and this pairs. Okay. Now adjust the things. Plane number five. Let exit from this plane. Choose plane number five is the next plane. That's it. A sketch. Line. Draw a vertical line then let's draw a horizontal line I think up to this point three point arc exit Pierce. just check out that's fine 
after that plane number six a sketch line line three point arc this point and this arc pierce relation this circle is fine plane number 7 a sketch line up to this point Exit. Plane number eight. Sketch line. select this line and this point sometime we selected the wrong uh, let's see any anything more balance okay the last plane exit from the previous plane choose plane number nine sketch line okay this is the last plane now select line here and connect choose this line uh, three point arc better Okay. Pairs. Now that's it. Exit. Now let's select here lifted boss base. First, second, third. Fourth, fifth, clear the geometry. Two, three, four, five, then sixth seventh eighth and the last ninth one okay now that's it now i think we don't need this three if we will go for 3d it will take too much time so just uh, hide it hide all the geometry now see it looks fine front plane mirror that's it fillet 10 millimeter select this face okay Thirty millimeter, select this face. Okay. 
that's it now again choose front plane a sketch line exit now let's define this 20 millimeter 82 millimeter Nineteen millimeter. Okay. Twenty millimeter extruded cut mid plane seventy millimeter. Okay, that's it. Now select this face a sketch. Draw a center line. circle twenty eight millimeter twenty eight extruded boss one sixty millimeter okay Now select this part and define, no we will define some other color, chrome play steel or we will go for nickel, this also looks too dark. Satin finish stainless steel. Okay. Now this rubber seat we will try for rubber only. Matte rubber. Let's try some fillet here. Okay. Uh, does look fine so this is the our seat bicycle seat let's save it now here let's make the chain front plane sketch exit select here circle nine point five millimeter just mirror this circle against this vertical line and let's make the center gap two point twelve point twelve point three extrude mid plane only two millimeter thickness okay edit sketch circle 
Now add two circles in the mid. Four point five. Select both the circles and make relation equal. Exit. Now see, it's created a circle. Now select this front face. Sketch normal. Now here draw two bigger circles. Let's make diameter ten millimeter. Ten millimeter. Choose here three point arc. Exit. Select both the lines tangent relation. Both the lines tangent relation. Tangent relation. Okay. Choose trim entity, power trim, and extrude. Extrude one millimeter only. Okay. Front plane, mirror, and select this full body. Okay. See. Extruded body part two. Edit. Select these two inside circles. Convert entity. Exit. That's it. Now we will make multiple number of pat uh, pattern of this chain. So let's draw first chain path. Front plane is sketch normal. Exit. Bottom line choose and select construction line. Make sure it's vertical for construction. Okay. Now let's define this. Hundred and twenty millimeter. Okay. Center point arc. Okay. Here also draw the same. Center point arc. Exit. Three point arc. Now both point connected. Exit. Now here select both the points. Tangent relation. Here also tangent relation. Now it's time to define. Radius twenty nine point ten millimeter. Seventy-five mm. Smart dimension. Select both this center point and uh, diagonal. Take Eleven hundred fifty five point forty two millimeter. This is enough. Exit. Now choose here curve driven pattern. Select this part. Make gap twenty five millimeter. Forty number of chain tangent to curve.
keep here equal spacing tangent to curve and select here bodies and body we selected this one ok now hide this plane go to steel brush finish let's save inner chain let's see other part now here the last part is pin front plane is sketch and make 10 diam circle and extrude it up to 100 millimeter mid plane okay fill it point three millimeter okay polish the steel save part number seven pin now these are the some parts let's start the assembly of bicycle here let's make the last part pedal top plane sketch center rectangle draw a rectangle with 100 by 80 millimeter and extrude it up to 30 millimeter keep end condition mid plane ok now select this face sketch draw a circle with 15 millimeter diameter and select extruded cut and cut through all ok now select this face sketch normal corner rectangle draw a midline forty two point sixty five millimeter twenty three millimeter okay five millimeter by five millimeter okay make the equal equal make this two line collinear five millimeter okay mirror select this all rectangle and mirror against this line okay now select here extruded cut keep end condition through all ok select fillet 20 millimeter select these two ends close let's try this one clear ok now again try ok that's it now select this face A sketch Let's draw uh, two circles.
outer one 40 and inner one 17 millimeter now select here extruded cut up to surface okay now select this face plane sketch and select the previous geometry convert entity extruded cut up to surface or select up to next now up to next they will cut all okay that's it select this face a sketch corner rectangle up to this point now select X cut up to make the depth we want to cut 5 millimeter top plane mirror and select this cutout see here ok now that's finished select this face sketch normal corner rectangle and up to this corner ok now extrude up to 5 millimeter that's it now select this face sketch circle Seventeen by ten millimeter. A uh, fifteen millimeter. Now extrude up to ten millimeter. Fill it. Ten millimeter. okay edit select this outside also fill it 15 okay now select this top face a sketch normal now here we want to make some grips so five millimeter okay go linear both the line linear pattern select this line and uh, here select reverse direction let's see how many lines possible that's enough extruded cut make the depth 3, three millimeter edit up to this corner now exit that's it choose top plane mirror and select this extrude cutout ok now see it, it mirror select this face sketch convert entity now this rectangle converted and extrude cut and make the depth 2 millimeter see here
now select this face sketch select here a straight slot okay you just drag this slot here little Six point five millimeter. Okay. Now select extruded boss and extrude up to two millimeter. Select front plane mirror. Now see this extruded part selected and front plane also mirror. See. Select this face sketch and let's cover this hole. Make it uh, 20 millimeter and extrude up to 2 millimeter. Now fillet. It's time to add fillet. Add fillet in everywhere. Fillet. Now let's make the whole body select this default edit appearance do not make too dark so otherwise it will not visible okay select this face edit appearance and dark red yellow dark yellow uh, dark red Okay, so that that is our paddle. Let's save this part number eight paddle. Now let's. Now here let's start the assembly of bicycle, kit bicycle, select here assembly, ok. Now this is the SOLIDWORKS assembly window, let browse our first part, steering. Ok. Insert, browse and choose frame first actually it's supposed to be frame first part right click on this float body right click fixed now this body will be fixed and this will be floating so let's define the mat 
select this rod and this hole make co-centric relation now the this is the flat face and this face coincident relation now this fixed here okay let's browse our next part front tire okay choose here mat select any circular face and this face co-centric relation just check out okay now go to advanced mat width mat select this face and this face here also select this face this face ok now there is too much gap here so what we will do we will increase this ok now evaluate measure and measure the gap this face and this face normal distance 5.5 .5. ok edit open this part and uh, select this face A sketch convert entity select this circle convert entity ex extrude 5.5 millimeter ok here also select this face A sketch convert entity inside circle convert entity and extrude up to 5.5 millimeter dark red ok now exit select here save changes yes it will ask you again save changes in assembly yes see here that's fine now let's browse over the parts like uh, tire for rear tire select mat select this face and co-centric relation ok now let's choose advanced mat width mat select this side actually delete this we need a perfect location so let's select outer one this one okay now let's check once again okay that's fine it is in center position not so far it is rotating that's it what other balance uh, let's bring tire is sprocket with paddle select this face and
cocentric relation let's take it out this one we will make here relation select this face and uh, we need to choose this face see here coincident relation okay okay let's make it uh, perfect position paddle mat select this hole and this hole flip mat you can choose here also flip mat in your left side and tie align okay select this face and uh, this face okay now that's it now just press control key and copy inside face mat this face flip mat okay coincident relation okay that's it now here the paddle is fixed now let's see what else balance insert we made one pin control key and copy make one more mat select this hole and this pin co coincident relation okay Uh, we will define it by advanced mat width mat select inside face and this side face okay now it is fixed in the center properly now the same thing is here width mat select this outer and this outer okay just drag it select this circle now it is circular centric concentric mat see it's fixed here you can see your pin is fixed here okay so now this is your uh, tire both the tire be fixed and uh, this is your paddle uh, we will try to fix here some bearing let's bring our last part seat mat coincident relation okay let's choose this face and this face make distance minus 50 let's make 50 not showing perfectly so we will drag inside and we will fix with this surface mat this surface and this surface now make gap 
90 millimeter okay now here the seat is fixed now select this seat front plane okay and go to frame control key and place front plane of frame front plane of seat and front plane of frame make mat now it is coincident relation okay okay that's it now the seats fix in its place so now this is our bicycle ready almost what else balance here uh, we created one ordinary ring inner ring okay just rotate this ring okay select this ring select this curve show now choose mat select this half circle and select this circle cocentric relation okay let's select this one and this it's not going to match because maybe the size and everything may be not perfect Uh, we will just fix it manually coincident relation okay okay now so our chain also fixed here it will not rotate because uh, we did not give real animation to this chain but our bicycle is ready hide uh, here also we forget to add some relation okay that's fine this is the lock position of this now let's try one uh, bearing toolbox add in now metric and let's choose uh, bearing ball bearing now select bearing it's not going to be select let's again try one more. radial ball bearing is quite better okay mat select this face and this face okay so now we fixed bearing here okay 
so now this is the our bicycle i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our videos first uh, let's save this animation please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works don't forget to share and like our videos thank here we forget to add some relation choose mat go to mechanical mat choose here gear and select this is sprocket one circular path and this bike one circular path okay okay now let's try see both rotating together here let's try one more gear any relation is no matter okay see so that's fine go to motion manager basic motion select one circular face and make revolution 10 revolution clear this and uh, we will select some circular face let's select this circular face Thirty RPM. Okay. Edit. Now it is editing. Now just play it. edit make it reverse okay now again calculate now just play it see you can see how the bicycle is playing i hope you like it don't forget to subscribe and share our share and like our videos If you have any comment just write down below I'll try to answer each and every question and subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for